Hi, I'm Jody Murphy, and you're watching Dog Grooming Simplified video series. Uh, the video series is based on my book, Dog Grooming Simplified, and I wanted to take a moment and introduce myself to you and give you a little bit of my background and how Dog Grooming Simplified came to be. I've been grooming since 1997, and when I first started grooming, I really, um, I really didn't know much at all. I, was, I started grooming as a bather for a few different groomers, and I was bathing mostly on Saturdays because I had three young children, and I did that for about a year. And then after that year passed, they had started to teach me how to groom. So really, the only thing I knew about grooming was shaving down dogs, you know, seven blade all over, little round teddy bear heads. That was probably the basis of, of what I was doing at that time. Ooh. And I remember a lot of the groomers would come to the booth and say, um, you know, ask me questions about what I was doing. And I realized how little they knew. And it reminded me of myself. And, how, and I remember how hard it was for me to go after that information and learn it. So I decided to do videos and to help the industry. And I started out with just a few. And they just took off really well. And then before I knew it, I was adding more and more videos. And now I've got the whole series that I mean, so many people will learn to groom just from my series because I have everything from every technique and medical issues and, and handling, all the uh, several show trims. I've got um, several of your most common breeds, a lot of your doodles, your mixed breeds. So it's a full series that I've had so many people just actually learn to groom from. So then after I did that over the years, I've had people say, you should write a book, you know? And I thought, well, you know what? Maybe I should write a book because it would complement my DVD series and make it a whole. So so, so I knew I wanted to write a book and I was just trying to figure out how to go about it and what I wanted in it. And the one thing that I knew that I absolutely wanted was real pictures of show dogs because that's how I taught myself how to groom. And most groomers, I feel, are visual, are visual people and they learn more from, from pictures. And so I knew that's what I wanted in my book. So, um, so at that point I started writing and I started and, with, and as we go through the series, what we're gonna do after I go through the book is I'm going to um, go through each one of these pattern cat um, categories and we're actually gonna groom dogs that will show you exactly what I mean. So then when we're done with this series, hopefully you'll get a better vision and a better understanding of what you're doing um, with these breeds. And it just really simplifies the, the educational process here. Okay, so we're gonna get started and I'm going to show you exactly how we start. Now, you know, structure is really, really a big thing. Um, and, and that's one thing that I didn't know and I didn't understand and no one taught me until I started working with breeders and handlers about structure. So I think structure is really important to understand. And we're going to go into this in a little bit more detail um, after I go through the book. I'm going to show you more about structure because I really think it's important. So I do have a section in my book on structure. Um, my next section is on technique. And I actually will go through. Um, I have a section on um, double-coated breeds. And you can see all the photos in the book are, are color. They're all done by really good photography. Uh, the, I actually um, hired a, one of the top dog show for, photographers in the country, Miguel Betancourt, that took over the whole book for me. So all the, all the photos of all the dogs are done by him. All profile sh shots, front shots, or rear shots, and I'll show you as we go through. So the photos are really just fabulous and just so breathtaking. <laughs> setting up to like a 15 and I do the inside of my ears. I come off, because I like the inside of my ears nice and tight. And I come off the ear leather onto my fingers and I kind of dig into my fingers. And when you dig into your fingers, it really gives you a nice, and from that corner cut, you take your curves, reverse, and you make a little cut. So you get a little bit of an arch by using a curve shear. Okay, so and I kind of point right. to the nose. Right there, so you don't want to trim this. So when you're setting your top line, start behind the withers and set your top line level right to before the tail set. 
Okay, so thank you for, for watching and I hope this has helped you a lot. Again, the video series and my book are available on my website at jodymurphy.net. Thank you.